lot of you guys grew up in the church. You guys know about the story of Jacob and Esau. Do you know that story? I never understood it until, well, Reverend Ike. <laughs> and I think Reverend Ike got it from Neville Goddard. But the story is Esau is the firstborn. And Esau is going to get the blessing from their father, Isaac. And Isaac is the one that Abraham almost killed. And it's a whole thing. But Isaac is blind. And he's old. And he's about to die. And Esau is the brother of Jacob. And they're twins. Who's going to inherit it all? And Jacob is going to not. Okay? And so Jacob wants the inheritance. And so he consults with his mother, and his mother says, I have an idea. Let's send Esau off to hunt and get the dinner. Get, I, I think he was on a hunt to kill something to bring back to eat. Let's send Esau off, and while he's gone, let's dress you up like Esau so that you would become the exact imitation of Esau. And Esau, unlike Jacob, was a hairy dude. Like he had hair all over his back. He, the Bible kind of describes him as kind of a beastly looking guy, hair up and down his arms. And Jacob was not. And so his mother, who I want to say was Rebecca or Rachel, I don't remember. His mother gets these furs and she puts them on her son's arms and dresses him up in the garb or the energy, really, of Esau. And she sends him into Isaac, who again is blind, and who is about to dispense his blessing. And long story short, Jacob goes in there and asks for the blessing. And Isaac reaches out and feels him and feels the furs on his, on his arm. And he says, are you Esau? And Jacob says, I am. And ultimately, Isaac says, OK you get the blessing. Now, this is an irrevocable blessing. You can't take it back when you learn, oh, Jacob fooled you. You know, I, I take it back. I'm going to give it to Esau. No, whoever gets the blessing keeps the blessing. And I always thought, well, Jacob, who goes on to, you know, be a patriarch, obviously, Jacob's ladder and all in, in the Bible and, and revered. I always thought, well, you're a snake. You're kind of a weak individual, and I don't like you very much. Why did you get the blessing? And Esau hates him for the rest of their lives and chases him, tries to kill him. It's a, it's a big deal. Until I heard Reverend Ike talk about it. And Reverend Ike said, but think about it. Don't get stuck in the scripture. Look at the energy of it. Jacob knows that in his form, he's not entitled to the divine blessing because he's in his form as a human. And so he puts on the energy of the divine or that who is going to inherit the blessing. He dresses up like that. He walks in like that. He possesses the countenance of that. Is he that? He's not Esau. But he arrives as Esau. And when Isaac reaches out and says, are you Esau? He says, yes, I am. Powerful. He arrives in the energy of that which he wants. When asked, who it is that you say that you are? He says, I am Esau. I am deserving of this blessing. It belongs to me. And what happens? Isaac, a.k.a. the universe, gives him the blessing. It doesn't care that he's not really Esau. He showed up as Esau. He showed up in the energy of already being that. And he got the blessing, and Esau never got it. And Jacob's line went on to prosper, and so on, and so forth. That's how life works. He who has, more is given. They show up in the energy of already being that. He who has not, Esau out on the hunt, it's taken away. It's taken away. Why does this apply to you? I wonder. I don't know. But I would say if there are areas of you, because for the most part, you strike me in energy as showing up as already being that. But there are areas of you within shadow, within Esau, within doubt, or that would keep you from possessing and saying, I am the one who deserves the blessing. And so when we get that into alignment for you, when you can show up in the close of it, in the energy of it, in the speak of it, in the show of it, and believe it 100%, it is yours. And it's a higher level for you. It's a higher level for you. You are already that. You can be that. You are that. 
Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.